Vanishing of Ethan Carter, a beautiful puzzle. The Vanishing of Ethan Carter is a great looking game with a dash of challenge and mystery. Essentially a linear murder mystery adventure game that doesn't hold your hand. You're placed into a gorgeous world and aren't really told what to do. You'll come across notes and dead bodies and have to figure out how they got there. You do this by examining scenes and items. Using your senses will show you where an item you're missing is located visually without just handing the solution to you. You still need to put in the work of studying your surroundings. After you've found all the clues, you can touch the dead body and attempt to place the events in chronological order to see how they all played out and get clues on where to head to next in your search for Ethan. This is the best mystery solving I've ever seen in a game and think developers should really take note. This is the new standard. The finishing of Ethan Carter will take you on a great adventure in various locations. You never feel too bored as the pacing is perfect enough and problem solving is simple enough to not have you feel frustrated or like you're dragging yourself through this 4 hour game. The downside though is of course that it is only 3 to 4 hours long and there's absolutely no replayability. Once you've found the few secrets and surprises the games have to offer that's about it. The openish world is very linear and leaves little to no room for exploration. The Vanishing of Ethan Carter is a one-time deal, and honestly I think this one-time deal is worth your time. For what it is, a murder mystery adventure game, 8.5 out of 10. And as an overall game, 8 out of 10. If you played The Vanishing of Ethan Carter, tell me what you thought about it down in the comment section below. If you haven't played it, tell me if you plan on picking it up. Thumbs up, like the video, subscribe if you're new to the channel, and tune in Monday for first impressions where you find out what game we're playing next. Thanks for watching.